So in this video, we're going to talk about pl uh, different plasticity theorems. We're going to talk first about three aspects of the plasticity theorems, and then we're going to talk about three different types of plasticity theorems. So the three different aspects are first equilibrium. And in all plasticity theorems, uh, equilibrium is satisfied. Uh, we're also, uh, the second aspect is the yield criterion. So the yield criterion is looking at uh, whether at all places the moment uh, that's applied to the section is less than our yield or our, pl our plastic moment. And the final aspect is uh, the whether we have a collapse mechanism. So there are three different types of uh, plasticity theorems. First, we have uh, what's called a lower bound theorem. And for a lower bound theorem, we're approaching the actual collapse load from uh, beneath that load. So in this we have our uh, p of our lower bound is always less than or equal to p that's actually collapsed. And in our lower bound theorem, we always satisfy uh, equilibrium and also uh, yield criterion. So we, uh, throughout the section, we're always below yield. Uh, the second type of plasticity theorem is called an upper bound theorem. So in, up, in an upper bound theorem, our p that we would predict with our upper bound theorem will always be greater than or equal to our actual collapse load. Uh, so you can note that uh, in our upper bound theorem, if we don't have the exact collapse load, then we're going to have an unconservative estimate. Uh, one thing that does happen in the upper bound theorem, though, is uh, we satisfy uh, both equilibrium and our collapse mechanism. Uh, three is what we call the uniqueness theorem. And the uniqueness theorem is essentially... Uh, when we have both, when it, it's both an upper and a lower bound. And in this case, uh, we can see that if we have both an upper and a lower bound, we're going to satisfy all aspects of our uh, plasticity theorem. So what we can see is that if we uh, were to plot our um, our actual load, and let's say that this is our actual collapse load, our upper bound for our upper bound theorems, we're always going to be above this load and approach it from the top. With our lower bound theorems we're always going to be below and approaching the actual load from the bottom. If our uniqueness theorem is satisfied, then we'll have the exact uh, actual capacity or actual collapse load of our section.